Let's go! Let's go! Energy! Passion! What you said about your childhood really connected with me. Thank you, bro. When I say make it, you say happen! Make it! Happen! Make it! Happen! What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Brian Mark. In today's episode, I'm going to be breaking down a speech called Desire Resilience. I'm excited. It's going to be dope. So there's 120 kids here, and I'm going to be talking to them all about desire and resilience. I believe the two key ingredients that you need to have in order to be successful. I'm going to go off. I'm just going to talk about my story. I'm going to riff and uh, see where the universe takes me. Channel. And the first surprise, the incredible surprise, is that we have an awesome human being, entrepreneur, leader, someone that's making it happen. Brian Mark is about to over deliver, give you everything you guys need. Give a hand for Brian Mark. Thank you. I appreciate that. All right, so before we get started, I need everybody to stand up because we got to start with some energy, right? So I'm going to howl at the top of my lungs and I need to hear from you guys. And if it's not loud enough, we're going to do it again. I'm going to go, then you're going to go. Ready? Ow! Ow! That wasn't good enough. We're going to do that one more time. Ow! Ow! And you're going to repeat after me. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Energy! Energy! Passion! Passion! Commitment! Commitment! Intensity! Intensity! Heart! Heart! Yeah. That's how we start. Now, I have a question for you guys. I'm gonna pose a simple question. And the question is, what makes the difference between somebody that's good and somebody that's great? See, I think that a lot of people play on statistics. Out of every 100 people, there's only 1% of people that are ever gonna make it to the NFL. And they use that as a reason or as an excuse not to go all in. They use that as an excuse not to push themselves, to challenge themselves, to be the very best that they can be. So what makes the difference between somebody that's good and somebody that's great? What makes the difference between somebody that makes it to the league, that makes it to the next level, that gets that D1 scholarship, and somebody that gets forgotten? What do you guys think it is? Yep, show up and do stuff. What else? Uh, commitment, yeah, same thing basically, but like effort, commitment. Yep, what else? You gotta be able to work hard, put in the effort outside of field. Yep, okay, so my intention with today is I wanna activate something inside of you. I wanna make you realize how powerful you actually are because I think a lot of people forget how powerful they actually are. And we can talk about all the reasons that that could happen. Maybe you didn't get the support that you needed growing up. Maybe you didn't have a father figure like me. Maybe you didn't have somebody that believed in you like Nolan believes in you right now but I'm here to remind you of how powerful you are. So I'm gonna tell you my story. I'm, I'm blessed because I've made millions of dollars in my life. I'm the happiest I've ever been. I've got a beautiful wife. And I feel like when people look at my life, they assume that I've always had it. But the truth is I was born into a family where we were kicked out of our house every six months because we couldn't afford rent. I was born into a family where my mom had me when she was 17 years old and I was the only dark skinned member of my family. And so growing up, I had a lot of fear and insecurity. My dad wasn't around. I didn't know who he was. We were getting kicked out every six months from my house. By the time I was in grade six, I had gone to eight different elementary schools. So my entire life was chaos. Not to mention I was overweight because everybody in my family had bad eating habits, bad exercise habits. And today I wanna to talk about breaking generational curses because for me, I was under this generational curse. You know, my grandparents weren't very healthy so they passed that down to my parents who passed that down to me and I was just 13 years old and I was overweight. So at 13 years old, how many of you guys are 13? 14, 15, 16, 17, 18? I made a decision. So I'm here to talk to you guys today because I want you to make the same decision. At 13 years old, I made a decision. And the decision was I'm gonna get better. I'm going to get better. I didn't know what that looked like, but I got sick and tired of being overweight. So I just started by going for runs. I was like, I'm just gonna go for runs. I'm gonna start exercising. In, in three months, I ended up losing 30 pounds. After I lost 30 pounds, I was like, oh. You know, girls started looking at me different. They're like, are you the new kid? I was like, no, nah, I was here last year. I was just fat, you guys didn't notice. But it, it taught me something. It taught me something valuable. I want you guys to remember this. If you focus on a skill set, you can improve. Right, so it doesn't matter what your nat natural athletic ability is. It doesn't matter where you started. What matters is what you do with the skills you have. And so I didn't have a lot of skills, but I just focused. Grade 10 comes around and I'm like the skinny kid and I wanted to play sports. I wanted to play football and football was actually the first thing that I really fell in love with, which is why I'm so passionate about talking to you guys today. Football, but I was the worst player on the team. I, I came on the field. I couldn't catch a ball to save my life. I was slow. I was lanky, but I loved it. How many of you guys love football? And so I made a decision. I'm gonna get better. I'm going to improve. I was the first person on the field every day. I was the last person to leave. And when I was done practice, I went home and I would study big hits, interceptions. I would just watch the, the line that the, the DB would take when he was gonna make a big hit. Because I was a defensive back. I was like, I wanted to figure out, you know, if the ball's in the air, what's the line that I should take to like really knock out that hit? Grade 10, I earned most improved player. And by grade 11, I was a team captain. Grade 12, we went to city finals and Coach Johannes, I don't know if he's here or not, but he was actually my high school football coach and he was the first person that taught me how to win. So making the decision to get better is part of the key ingredient to success, but that by itself is not enough. 
because when I was your guys' age, I just wanted to go to the league, bro. Like, I just wanted to be a successful football player. That was it, that was my dream. How many of you guys wanna be a successful football player? Raise your hand. So everybody here wants it. So when every single one of you guys wants the exact same thing, what makes the difference between somebody that makes it to the league and somebody that doesn't? If everybody here is fighting for the same thing, what makes the difference? Is it athletic ability? Is it speed? Is it agility? When I was in grade 12, I tried out for Team Alberta. And in that tryout, I remember a specific instance where the ball was in the air, the receiver was right here. I could have went for the pick, but instead I went for the tackle. And when I went for the tackle, I ended up separating my shoulder. I remember getting up and I felt something weird in my shoulder. I felt something pinch. I didn't know what it was, but I got off the field and they told me that I'd, I'd separated my shoulder. Pinched a nerve, separated my shoulder. That for me was the biggest heartbreak. And that for me led me to give up on my dream of football. Because in my head, I was like, well, I'm injured. So if I go to university, then I'm gonna be sitting on the bench and I won't get to start, then I'm not gonna be successful and I'm not gonna do what I wanna do, which is go ball. And so I gave up. And I gave up because I didn't have somebody like me to come to you guys to tell you what I'm about to tell you today. The key to success is two things. When I say number one, I want you to repeat after me. Number one is desire. 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 Key number two is resilience. 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 Desire means I want it so bad that I'm willing to do whatever it takes to get success. That's desire. How many of you guys want to be successful? Everybody wants to be successful until you get knocked in the mouth. Until it's fourth quarter, you're down by 14 points, the other team is hammering on you. Do you still want to be successful in that moment? Everybody wants to be successful until they want to start and they realize they're on second string. So it's not just desire, but you must have resilience. For me, I didn't have that when I was a kid. I didn't have that. So my first injury, I was like, man, I'm done. Game over, that's it. And I just gave up. And to be honest, that's my biggest regret in life. Like I've achieved a lot of success in my life, but if there's one thing I regret, it's the fact that I gave up on my dreams because of one adversity. Now my adversity was a shoulder impingement. Your adversity might be something different. Maybe you're dealing with something at home. Maybe your friends are out partying and they're trying to suck you in. Maybe you got put on the bench when you think you should be starting. Your adversity might be different than mine, but the definition of resilience is I keep showing up, I keep putting in the work, and I burst through all obstacles in my way. Desire and resilience. You need to make the decision on what kind of man you want to be. The truth is there's some of you guys that are in this audience right now that are going to be playing in the league and the NFL, and it could be any one of you. And it's only going to go to the man that makes the, the decision that he's going to play in the league. It's only going to go to the man that wants it so bad that he's so focused on every play. It's only going to go to the man where everybody else thinks you're crazy. Everybody's like, yo, bro, why don't you take a break? Why are you so intense? Why are you going so hard? Relax, this is practice. And the guy that has the desire, that wants it so bad that he can't let anything get in his way, blocks out the opinions. Because it doesn't matter where you start from right now, you guys. It doesn't matter where you start. I started from nothing, bro. I was living in a trailer park on my grandma's couch, got my car repossessed. I was a nobody 11 years ago. The only thing that separated me from everybody else is I didn't want to be that guy anymore. How many of you guys have a family you'd like to take care of one day? Your mom that's taking care of you right now, is sending you to these football camps? How many of you guys would like to take care of your mom? Raise your hand. You want to take care of your mom or your dad or your brother or your sister. You have that ability today. Don't you get that? And you might not understand that because you're like, oh, this is just a camp. I'm just chilling. But what if you got so good at this camp and you developed the skills necessary to go back and be one of the best players on your team? And then what if because you became one of the best players on your team, you got scouted by a major league school and they're like, that's the guy. And what if that scholarship gave you the opportunity to play for the university of your dreams, which led you to playing in the league? And what if that led you to take care, taking care of your mom, your brother, your sister, and everybody in your family? You have that ability. Every single one of you guys could be successful. Here's what it comes down to. You can't just want it when it's convenient, right? When you got energy, when you got passion, you can't just want it when, when, when you feel good. You gotta want it so bad when you're tired. You gotta want it so bad when you're exhausted. You gotta want it so bad when everything in your life is crumbling and the only thing that you have is football. That's when it matters. When it matters is when you're on the field and you're exhausted and the coach is telling you to do another play, you gotta go in your head and you gotta make the decision on what kind of man you're gonna be. Are you the kind of man that gets tired and gives up? Or are you the type of man that goes harder, that finds another gear, that finds another gas tank? How many of you guys watch football? The best plays happen in the fourth quarter. When everybody's tired, when everybody's exhausted and somebody has that breakthrough. Every single one of you guys has that gas tank, but the truth is 99% of people never tap into it. 1% of people make it to the league, not because the other 99% don't have the capabilities or the talents or the skills or the mind. It's the mindset. They don't tap into that next gear. And when you guys feel like you want to quit, when you want to give up, when you want to give in, that's when it matters. 
When you're tired, you're exhausted, it's the fourth quarter, the other team is up, and you're on the field, and you get the ball, and you have the chance to run through the end zone. That's the moment that actually matters. When you're playing defense, the other team is up, it's the fourth quarter, and if they score, the game's over, and you have an opportunity to end the play, that's when it matters. How bad do you want it? Who here wants to be a winner? Make some noise. Yeah. Who here wants to be a winner? Make some noise. Yeah. You get to make the decision. You guys, if you would have looked at my life when I was 23 years old, I'm telling you, I was partying, I was drinking. Because I went off track after football, I just lost myself. You know, I found myself trying to find validation from, from girls. I found myself trying to find validation in friends. I was just lost. And if I could go back to myself at 17 when I had that injury, I would say to myself, don't give up. Keep that desire, keep that faith. Because everybody here wants to be successful. Everybody here wants to hit the next level. And the difference between the people that make it to the next level and the people that don't is resilience. You can't just want it. Uh, Eric the hip hop preacher says you gotta want it as bad as you wanna breathe. That's not enough. And it's not enough because if you want it, but as soon as something happens, you get tired, you give up, you quit. Man, and you guys might think the football doesn't make me like, how does this relate to my life skills? Everybody repeat after me, the way that I do one thing is the way that I do everything. If you guys are lazy on the field, you're gonna be lazy in life. If you're taking a break, you know, if you're just about to hit the play and then, and then you, you take your foot off the gas, you're gonna do that in life. Football for me gave me the first chance for me to channel myself into something wholeheartedly. And you guys have that ability this weekend. You got a bunch of coaches that donated their time. And by the way, make some noise for these coaches. I'm, I'm here for 15 minutes. Really, like my presence is nothing. These guys are the real MVPs that are actually doing something. But you guys have the opportunity to develop your skills this week to tap into yourself, to be the highest level version of yourself and take something away from this camp where you're able to go back to your team and you're able to be a leader for your team. You're able to inspire your team because there's something inside of you that woke up. When you come back to school, they're like, who's this guy? Where'd this guy come from? You're more jacked, you're more handsome, you're more focused, you're more intentional. I want you guys to take that guy away from this camp. I want you guys to leave a different person than you came because no matter how good you are, there's another level. And this is another reason that people don't make it, right? Because a lot of you guys, who here thinks they're good? Raise your hand, be honest. The people that think they're good are usually the lazy ones. Don't be that guy. Just because you're good doesn't mean you can't be the best in the league. If you're the best on your team, why can't you be the best in the league, right? But the people that are good are like, well, I'm better than everybody else right now, so I don't really need to try as hard. And that's when they get lapped by the guy that's a dog, the guy that's showing up early, the guy that's studying film, the guy that's doing extra push-ups, doing extra reps, that doesn't let his foot off the gas. You gotta have that dog. Who's got that dog? Who's got that dog? Yeah. Let's go. Guys, you can achieve anything that you set your mind to, literally anything. Never believe people when they tell you something's impossible because people are only telling you what's possible based on their current limitations. And I'm here to tell you, I'm a man that's done any, everything I've ever wanted with my life. I travel the world full time, I got a gym, I'm making money, I got my car, and I'm telling you that you can achieve anything that you set your mind to. Coming from somebody that tapped into my unlimited power, I want you to know that anything that you want in life, you can have. Desire and resilience. Make some noise for you guys. Let's go. Hey, let's bring it up on Brian. Bring it up on Brian. Let's go. Brian's going to get us going. Here we go. I'll show Brian, right, how we, how we do things. And the guys who weren't here last year, coaches know, right? When I say make it, you say happen. Make it happen. happen. Make it happen. happen. Let's go, Brian. Let's get us. When I say make it, you say happen. Make it happen. Make it happen. Make it happen on three. One, two, three. Make it happen. Ow! I was the exact same way. I didn't have like my father in my life or anything. I don't have anything really right now. Good. But like I said, I was a good person, a good player, because I really am. Yeah. I mean, I mean, I have to practice, stay like two hours. Yeah. I, I, like just doing footwork, whatever so I can. Now be the best. Yeah. Be the best on your team, bro. Thank you. Be, be that guy, dude. Be that guy. Be the guy that does more push-ups, that eats more food, that like studies more film. Be that guy. You could take it to the league, bro. I'm telling you. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Desire and resilience. Those are the keys to success. You can't have desire without resilience. And you can't have resilience without desire. You have to want it so bad that you're willing to do anything and then you need to be work willing to work through any obstacle that comes in your way. Hopefully you got something from this episode. Peace. <laughs>